Hello, welcome to Crypto Slow News episode 12. It seems that the COVID-19 curve is flattening, so let's hang on and stay safe. Now let's check out the three top news for this week and go ahead with news number one. Libra's wallet provider Calibra has been rebranded as Novi, meaning New Way, according to announcement on May 26th. The wallet provider is intended to hold Libra's various digital currencies as soon as the Facebook-led initiative goes live. The name changed to Novi, with the main commitment in helping people find affordable, easier financial services stays unchanged. Novi will act as a standalone app, and it will be interoperable with Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. Also, the release date of Novi stays undetermined and it will be only available in a limited number of countries. Novi Financial, a Facebook subsidiary company, will act as an operating company of Novi and it will be independent from the mother company. This rebranding strategy is an effort by Facebook to make a clear statement that it will be independent from the activities of Libra Network and Novi. Also, it's an effort to appease the concerns of regulators. So I wonder if this will work in the longer term or not. Chinese internet giant Tencent is investing $70 billion into new infrastructure based on emerging technologies over the next five years. This may include investment in blockchain technology, especially since China's blockchain-related service network, BSN, has rolled out into commercial use a month ago. Tencent has shown consistent interest in blockchain technology, and it recently became a member of a national committee on setting standards on blockchain technology. So therefore, it should come as no surprise when Tencent sets aside a significant budget related to blockchain technology. Also, as a whole, it's good for China since news related to blockchain is accumulating day by day and it will be very probable that there will be visible results in the near future. Today, there were a series of news on Samsung Electronics and its blockchain division. One article talked about how Samsung shut down all of its blockchain-related activities and entities. The other article refuted this article in saying that it not only maintains its blockchain divisions and uh, task forces, but actually is expanding its existing uh, task force into an official entity slash development group dedicated to blockchain technology. The article, the latter article, also said that it will not develop its own Samsung coin as predicted and rumored, and also uh, it will maintain its key store, DAP services, and wallet. Um, however, it will focus more on the user experience of its mobile devices dedicated to blockchain services, which is a very important factor in the world of blockchain, user experience. Um, and this all is not news to me because I've heard about this way before and I knew that Samsung had been going through this transformation a while back. Um, but it was a really good summary to hear, to look at what's happening and what's not happening at Samsung Electronics related to blockchain. And um, it's very, it's going to be very informative to know about it because they're not going to go away in the near future and it'll, it'll be interesting to see um, how they're going to play out their tactic in terms of blockchain. So yeah, let's, let's definitely stay tuned for more Samsung news. That is all for this week. Thank you for watching until the end. Before you go, don't forget to click the like button and see you all next week. Bye!